Hey guys, it's Elisa here for Purse Buzz, and today we're doing something very special and very different for the new year. I'm actually at the Bella Sugar TV studios, and we're going to be doing a fun New Year's tutorial using this GHD flat iron. And after this tutorial, you guys can go to their channel, the Bella Sugar TV channel on YouTube, and you guys could win one of these and a whole bunch of great products up to $400. So I'll give you all that information later. We're gonna jump into this tutorial. Okay, so the first thing you need to do with any hair tutorial is to prep your hair, especially when you're using a heating product. So today I'm gonna use this Thermal Shine, and I'm just gonna spray this in my hair, and I'm just gonna mist it, and then just kinda work the product into my hair so that it doesn't get damaged. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're just split your hair down the middle, and then you're gonna take your hairspray. I prefer an aerosol, like the L'Oreal Elnet, and I'm just gonna mist it just a little bit, just to give it a little stick so that when I use the flat iron, it's gonna give me some volume. So I'm gonna split it down the middle, and I'm gonna take a long horizontal piece. Again, it doesn't ever have to be perfect when we're making big hair. We just want something that really works. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a long piece like this, and you're going to take your flat iron, and you're going to bend it, and that'll give you your lift, and you're gonna pull it all the way through to the very end, just like that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna quickly curl this, put it into a pin curl like this, and as you're doing it, you wanna bring it forward, because that's what's gonna give you that volume. You're gonna take one of these clips, and you're gonna hold it down. So we're gonna continue this by taking another piece right here in the front. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, you just need a small amount. And since we're getting towards the front, we want really big hair, we're gonna spray a little bit more hairspray, concentrating right at the roots. Make sure that our flat iron's gonna go straight through. I'm gonna take it all at the root, bend it, and pull it through. It's gonna feel warm, but this is how it curls. So you're just gonna wrap it around like a pin curl. Wrap it around, you're gonna push it forward, and you're just gonna clip that down. So what you're gonna do for this side is you're going to make sure that your hair is all detangled. Then you're gonna just take pieces of the hair and you're going to flat iron it, but really you're just bringing heat to the hair and you're going to get some really nice waves. If you have a good flat iron, it's gonna be nice and smooth, just like this. With a little warm, quickly wrap it and then clip it. As long as it's clipped and in a curled motion, it's gonna be okay. So I'm just gonna take this right here. I recommend working in different widths and different pieces because that way you have different size curls and that's what makes it really fun. And then make sure you get a little bit of extra heat to the ends because you wanna make sure that's curled and it's not just stick straight. You're gonna have the clockwise and the counterclockwise curls like this all the way through your hair. You're gonna let it curl and let it cool. So while you're waiting for your hair to dry, put a little bit of aerosol hairspray to make sure that it's nice and wavy. Once your hair is cool, you're gonna remove all the pins and you're going to let it relax. And then you're gonna work on this front part right here. So I'm gonna be right back in 10 minutes once my hair is cool and I'll show you the next step. All right, so now we're gonna move all of the clips so that we can see all of our pretty waves and it's going to be nice and soft, just give you a little texture. And you don't want to disrupt the curl, so you're just gonna remove all of your bobby pins and your clips. All right, now for the fun part, we're gonna make our hair nice and big. So what you're gonna do is you're going to go back to this piece right here that already has a little bit of a lift, and you're gonna take your paddle brush and you're going to tease it very little right there at the base, just like this. And remember to work from the back because any part that's like tangly looking, almost like a nest, is gonna be underneath and it's gonna be nice and smooth in the front. I'm just gonna lightly now kind of relax it and kind of just shape the style. Now we're gonna work on our curls. We're just going to lightly finger and just comb our hair like this. You don't wanna use a brush because then it's gonna be really big and it's going to be a little bit more Frizzy. All right, so for our front part, which is one of my favorite parts, you're going to put a nice straight line right here and a straight line right here. Using a comb, it's probably the easiest method. Now that you have your two pieces, you're going to split it into two. Make sure that it's even. Then you're going to take this, and you're gonna split it into two as well. And then you're going to tie it into a knot. Like this, you got one. You're gonna tie it again to make two. So it looks like this. So you're gonna take these two pieces, you're gonna flatten it, and you're gonna take a bobby pin, and you're gonna put one on each side. So 
and open your bobby pin, feed it through. You're gonna do the same thing with the other side. Make sure that the knot is nice and tight. Okay, you're gonna do that one more time with this front part right here. Split it and then you're gonna tighten it. And you do that again. To make it easier, just put it behind your ears. And then you're gonna take your bobby pins and you're going to secure it. And you wanna make sure that you don't see too much of your scalp. All right, so now that we're finished with the knot part right here and the big poof in the back, we're gonna refresh the curls on the side here. So I'm just gonna take a small piece and I'm gonna take my flat iron and I'm gonna use it as a curling iron. So I'm just gonna clamp it, pull it down and twirl. Remember, we don't want super curls, we just want a little bit of a wave, some texture to the hair. So while we're waiting for this to cool, we're gonna work on our poof back here. I'm gonna just put some hairspray right at the roots. I'm gonna take a comb, I'm gonna go all the way in, and I'm just gonna tease it. I think this look is really cute. I think it's perfect for pretty much any outfit that you have. It shows that, yeah, I did my hair today, but I really want the attention on my makeup or on my dress. You're just gonna loosely relax these curls. One last mist. And you're done with your New Year's hairstyle. So this is a really fun New Year's Eve look. Don't forget to go to Bella Sugar TV because that's where we're going to be giving away this clutch and the flat iron that you saw in the video. I'm gonna have a video on there giving you all the information. One of the important things to remember is to subscribe to their channel because that's how you're gonna win this giveaway. I'm Elisa, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on Bella Sugar TV.